Battery backups are not a required item when installing a tankless water heater. However, they can be a beneficial item in certain situations. Welcome back to another Nortz Tech Tip. My name is Will, I'm one of the product trainers here at Nortz, and I'm gonna to talk to you about battery backups, also referred to as a UPS or uninterruptible power supplies. This is a topic that we do get a lot of questions about to our customer care department about selecting the right one, asking for brands, asking for models, and I hope this video can help clarify some of those questions and help you select a battery backup if you're in the market for one for your tankless water heater. Battery backups are most commonly used with computers, servers, and networking equipment. However, they can be beneficial when used with tankless as they also require power during operation or freeze prevention. Much like having the power go out and your computer turning off right when you're in the middle of that important project, a power outage will also cause a tankless water heater to turn off. Well, now if you're not using it at the time, it's not such a big deal. But imagine you're in the middle of a shower, the power goes out, your tankless water heater turns off. Well, you know what that's gonna feel like. Battery backups like these can be found at just about any big box electronic store, office supply store, and even online. Just a word of caution, if you're gonna order online, these are quite heavy. And we all know how shipping companies like to handle our packages. You're probably thinking with all the battery backup options out there, which ones will work with the tankless water heater? That's what I'm here to tell you about. In front of me, I have two battery backups, a smaller lower end model that does not produce a pure sine wave. These are commonly found in the area of $100 or less. And then next to it, I have its bigger brother, a much higher end battery backup used for high end computers and they go for in the area of about $250 or more. The key thing is it does produce a pure sine wave output. A pure sine wave output is the most important thing to look for when selecting a battery backup for your Noritz tankless water heater. Our tankless water heaters feature a circuit board, motors, servos, things that require a clean source of power, which a battery backup with a pure sine wave output can provide. Lower end battery backups like this one right here produce a modified or squared sine wave. And that's okay for modems, routers, maybe even your TV and things like that. However, a tankless water heater does require a clean source of power. And that's another tip for you, not even related to tankless. If you use a small battery backup like this for your modem and router, the chances are very likely that you can continue to use your internet even while the power is out. The next factor is how long do you want your tankless to run? Keep in mind, battery backups are not designed to allow you to indefinitely use the devices connected to it. They're designed to just give you enough time to finish up what you're doing and safely turn it off. If you want to run your devices indefinitely, then you would actually be looking for a gas powered generator. And a lot of the same information we talk about here, such as the pure sine wave output, applies when looking for a gas powered generator to run not only your tankless, but all the other items in your home. You can usually determine if a battery backup produces a pure sine wave if you check its spec sheets or technical documents from the manufacturer. Those are usually found online or you can even call the manufacturer directly and ask them which models output a pure sine wave. In order to know what size of battery backup you need, you need to know the wattage and the voltage of the device you're connecting to it. For tankless water heaters, you can find that information on our support site, support.noritz.com, click technical documents and enter your exact model and gas type. Luckily, half of that information is very easy as all of our tankless water heaters operate on 120 volts AC. That means all you have to find out is how much wattage your tankless water heater consumes when in operation. For this example, I'll use an EZ111 model running on propane. Once you have the spec sheet open, locate the section with the power ratings. As you can see, the EZ111 uses 120 volts AC as mentioned before, and the propane model consumes 98 watts during normal operation. If you live in an area that freezes, you could use the freeze prevention wattage to allow the unit to keep itself warm for a period of time. Just remember, if the power outage lasts more than an hour, it's likely the battery backup will run out of power under those conditions. 
Once you've determined the power requirements of your tankless water heater, you can use your search engine of choice and search for battery backup calculator. Usually you'll see results from a few manufacturers. I'll use the APC calculator as they are a well-known and established manufacturer in the battery backup industry. However, you can use any brand you like as long as their backup has a pure sine wave output. I've already entered the key information into the APC calculator, 120 volts AC and 98 watts. Here is where you can choose the desired runtime. I've chosen 30 minutes as that's usually ample time to finish up a shower, washing the dishes, or whatever use might be occurring. Once I continue, the calculator provides a number of results. Now, it might be tempting to just pick the least expensive UPS and call it a day, but chances are the lesser expensive models do not output a pure sine wave and will not work with your tankless. You'll need to check the specs of the selected UPS and verify it has a pure sine wave output. Sometimes it might even be listed in the description, such as these. Look through the results and find a battery backup that has a pure sine wave output, is close to your desired runtime, and at a price you're willing to spend. You might be able to order directly from the manufacturer like APC allows, or you can check with local retailers to see if they stock the exact model UPS you found online. That's really about it when it comes to selecting a battery backup to use with your Nord's tankless water heater. To recap, here are the important things. The battery backup must produce a pure sine wave output, which you can verify by looking at the specs or contacting the manufacturer of the battery backup. You'll need to know the voltage and wattage of your tankless water heater, which you can find by downloading the spec sheet of your exact model. From there, use a battery backup calculator or contact the manufacturer for assistance in choosing an appropriate model. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you found this helpful.